Okay, what I'd like to demonstrate today is how we can use our goat or a stick to estimate the height of a tree. It's helpful if we're using directional felling to know where we want to drop it, but also to where where is the end of that tree or the top of that tree going to fall. Particularly important if we want to avoid any damage to, uh, to some nice trees in the area, and we're trying to, to single those out. We can use it by using our goat or any stick, really, and what we want to do is estimate the length of our arm to our eye, so we know this distance, and then if we flip it up from there, we know the distance is the same here, so we have a right angle here, and we have a basically two equal legs on that triangle. So if we sight down my arm, and I'm looking at the base of the tree, and then follow it up, uh, and if I want to adjust my distance from that tree until I'm sighting at the base, and the top of that goat is just pointing to the top of the tree, that pretty much means that I'm standing right where that tree is going to fall. Okay, this is a dead ash that I've decided I want to take out. Uh, it's got some good firewood in it. Uh, the reason I want to take it out rather than leave it for a snag is that uh, the way I think it may fall, there's some nice trees of sugar maple around it and some others that I think may be damaged by it if it just falls. So. I want to take it out and put it where I want it to fall rather than just let it fall. I found that these ash, uh, once they die, they don't stand very long and they're liable to come down in the wind. And if they do that, you never know where they're going to go. So what I want to do is estimate where I think it's going to fall. So I set my stick, sight the bottom of the tree. And if I look up, you can see that that's right about, I'm standing right about where that top of that tree is going to land. So we'll test it. Okay, see the stump? I got the stump a little high. I was sighting from the stump, so give myself a little safety factor. And this is where we estimated it would fall, and it didn't quite get this far, uh, but certainly plenty of debris did. So it's not a bad way to, to estimate the height. It gives you a pretty good ballpark figure where it's going to land. And if there's something that's important to avoid, that's a good way to measure it. Oh, well. Oh, oh. 